So, with the recent events of the My Hero Academia manga and the new season coming out in the next month or so, I thought now would be a good time to give you guys all the information you need to know about the character known as Hawks. Who he is, where he came from, and why he does what he does. But before I go into all of this, I'm first going to give you a quick reminder to hit that subscribe button and bell icon to keep informed on all of the new My Hero Academia content the Lunchtime Crew is producing. By the way, this video does contain minor spoilers about Hawks' past and history that hasn't come up in the anime. However, no major plot points will be spoiled and everything I discuss focuses more on world building than anything else. But that's enough about me and the channel. It's time to get to the real content. So. Who is the character known as Hawks? Well, when he is first introduced into the series, Hawks is a young, brash 22 year old hero who managed to climb his way to the number 2 spot on the Japanese hero billboard charts. He's carefree, jovial, and a bit of a blabbermouth, but maintains an air of mystery behind him. However, when push comes to shove, he's an extremely capable hero who is not only super talented at what he does, but is also willing to put his life on the line to save as many people as possible. So, where did he come from? Well, as it turns out, Hawks' real name is Keigo Takami, and he is actually the son of a notorious villain. Hawks, or Keigo, spent the early years of his life living with his villainous father and his not very emotionally or mentally stable mother, who is named Tomi, in a small rundown shack on the outskirts of a town. Now overall, Hawks' family was extremely dysfunctional. His father was quick-tempered, abusive both verbally and physically, and showed no semblance of respect or love for either Keigo or his mother, outright saying to their faces that he wished that he never met Tomi and wished Keigo was never born. Despite all of this, Tomi was overly infatuated with Hawks' father, and seemed to be entirely reliant on him for support, even to the point of entirely ignoring the fact that he was abusive to both her and her son. Hawks himself was forced to stay locked up in the family home, unable to mingle with anyone outside his family or gain much information on the outside world, as his father was paranoid that if the young boy ever went out, that he would get caught or rat to the police. Now Hawks, even at a young age, was fully aware of the dysfunctionality of this whole situation, showing the young boy's intelligence and awareness of his surroundings. Yet, he knew there was nothing he could really do to change it, so instead, he suppressed all of his pent up feelings and endured this life lifestyle, promising to himself that he wouldn't turn out like either of his parents. This resulted in young Hawks believing that the entire hero society was all fiction, and in reality that there was no such thing as a hero. In spite of this however, even at this young age, Hawks showed the signs of being a true genuine hero, as his biggest dream in life was to help people. So when there was any trouble in the nearby town, he would instinctively fly towards it and help out in any way he could. But this sort of action really didn't go down well with his father. However, this entire family dynamic and Hawks' view on hero society as fiction would all be changed, as one day, Hawks' villainous father was caught and arrested by none other than Endeavor. Now at the time, Tomi went into a complete panic state, as she was terrified she would be charged with the harboring of a criminal, so she took her son and ran away from the home, but for Hawks, it was his abusive and evil father finally being arrested that had opened up his eyes to the reality of the world of heroes. Heroes were no longer just fiction. As Tomi and her son were on the runaway, Hawks suggested to his mother that they do the right thing and go to the police. But instead, his mother's desperation had reached its limit, as she compared Hawks to his father, questioning why he was ever born and what was his quirk even good for. Despite this abuse and imbued with the knowledge that heroes are in fact real, Hawks remained determined in his goal to help people saving the lives of multiple citizens in a high-speed incident. This action actually caught the attention of the Hero Public Safety Commission, who then confronted Hawks and his mother and offered to save the two from a life of poverty on the condition that they change their identities and that Hawks come work for them. Of course, the two accepted this deal. However, for Hawks this proposition meant much more than just working for the Hero Safety Commission. In his eyes, accepting this offer meant two very important things. The first of which was a separation from his family and his old life. When Keigo was told that he would never be known as a Takami again, he thought of this as finally escaping his past and any association he had with either of his parents, an opportunity at the time he was more than happy to take. The other thing accepting this offer meant to Hawks was that it would grant him the opportunity to become just like his hero, Endeavor. 
Ever since the day his father had been arrested, Hawks had idolised Endeavour and the light he brought to the world. With his prized possession being an Endeavour plushie, his mother had ironically bought him to keep him quiet before his father had been arrested. To Hawks, Endeavour was the number one hero, and his dream was to be a beacon of hope and happiness to the world, just like his hero. So with this, Hawks was separated from his mother and his past life and began his journey to become a hero, throwing aside his old name and taking on the mantle of Hawks. Now in his time growing up with the Hero Public Safety Commission, Hawks was put through constant arduous training, perfecting and improving his quirks abilities. On top of this training, the commission also drilled interpersonal skills into him so he could master the art of deception and infiltration. Unlike traditional hero schools that teach young wannabe heroes the general gist of everything, the Hero Public Safety Commission specifically focused on espionage, grooming Hawks into their perfect spy. Of course, while most people would have argued and complained about all the intense training they were being put through for years upon years, Hawks willingly accepted all of it so that he could be just like his hero. Hawks remained training in the Hero Public Safety Commission until finally at the age of 18 he set up his own agency. And within the very same year he managed to make his way into the top 10 of the Japanese hero billboard charts, making him the youngest ever person to do so. Four years later he would then climb his way to the number 3 spot, falling behind only All Might and his hero Endeavor. However, Hawks climbing through the ranks was actually unintentional, as Hawks himself states he has absolutely no interest in the rankings, only further commending the young hero's skill and talent. And lastly, while he does maintain his own agency and carries on as if he doesn't have a care in the world, he does have a strong sense of duty, as he maintains contact with the Hero Public Safety Commission and finds himself tasked with completing jobs for them, which he himself would much prefer not to be a part of. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is the origin and history of the Wing Hero Hawks. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and comment your thoughts and opinions about the character below. If you would like to see more content like this from the Lunchtime crew, please do let me know on any of my videos or even on my Twitter at the Lunchtime. Once again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Plus Ultra.